Hi dear, myself Dr. Vishwarup Niyogi, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, GIS College of Engineering, GIS Group, India. It is uh, really uh, necessary for us to uh, know about how to study as we are from the electronics and communication engineering department and we have to know about this thing that how to study the electronics there is some procedure by which we can study the electronics today i am just giving you first idea on this lecture that how to study electronics this particular subject the procedure of this particular subject to study there is several kinds of sub subject, basic electronics, analog electronics, digital electronics, but the basic electronics is very much mandatory and all are related, all the, all the higher level subjects is connected with the basic electronics and for that point of view, it is very much necessary to study about the concept that uh, how to study the electronics. Yes, there is one rule. Now go for the next slide. Uh, you saw that uh, one term I'm representing in here that is AOTDAP. This AOTDAP, I think you are think about that. What is AOTDAP? This is the rules of the study of the basic electronics or any kinds of electronics component, any kinds of electronics device or anything related to electronics you can understand by this AOTDAP. So what is the rules? The things is that first A for the analytical meaning, A for the analytical meaning. What is the analytical meaning? We will go for these things next time. Then next is that, uh, next is that, that uh, this is the A for analytical meaning. Next is the O, O is the origin, origin, A for analytical meanings that means from where the concept is coming, from where the why uh, resistance is called resistance, why it is called resistance. That's why this is this thing is coming A for analytical meaning. O for the origin, how the concept is coming. That thing is that's why this is the O that is the origin. Next was this is the three. T is the theory. One thing I want to say that the mix most of the time our students are only types. Uh, all are study from the theory that is start from the V equals to IR if they want to study the resistance they start from the V equals to IR but this is not the procedure procedure is that we have to know about these things first is the analytical meaning second is the origin T is the theory after then the theory but most of the case we are start from the theory so this is not the procedure this is the actual processing to understand about any kinds of things this is very much a mandatory that a for analytical meaning o for origin and t for theory next t for the diagram diagram is very very important in the electronics any kinds of things you want to study that diagram is also very very important that is the basically the drawing if you want to study any kinds of thing that is the resistance and whatever the diagram is very very mandatory and last one in all over the world it's depend upon these things that engineering that is the applications that is the applications and this for this particular applications this is very much essential to know about all these things a for analytical meaning o for the origin and the t for the theory o for origin t for the theory d for the diagrams dp for the applications so these are the rules of the study now how we can study how we can understand about these things this particular things will go for the next slide that is uh, this is the AOTDAP suppose you saw this is the resistance first we uh, study about the resistance in our uh, in our time when uh, I was in the study at that time that resistance we start that V equals to IR like that way but the things is that we have to think like that why the resistance is called resistance resist something is resist the current that's why it is called resistance if you considering that any kinds of pipe there is a water is go through with the pipe then if it is resist 
what is, is not possible to go through this pipe. So that means the resistance, the resist something, current is resist by this. From the resist concept, this particular concept is coming, that is the resistance. That is the A for analytical meaning. After then, this A for analytical meaning, after then this O, O for the origin. The origin, how the concept of the origin of the resistance is coming. The origin of the resistance is specifically, it's come from that wire. If you think about the wire, if I increase the length of the wire, then automatically the one thing, one characteristics is increased. That is the origin. That is the, uh, that, that from there the concept of the resistance is coming. That is the origin. If I increase the cross section area of the, of the wire, if I increase the cross section area of the wire, then one thing is decreasing, so one characteristic is decreasing. That is the resistance. So this is the origin. After then the T equals to, after then this T equals to theory. After then this T equals to theory. And, and after then this D equals to diagram. T equals to theory, we know all of you that V equals to I R. V equals to I R. We know about that this is the resistance. So that is related to the theory. And more specifically we are start from there. That is our problem. So we have to know about A, O, T, D, all these things and D, you know about that this D, how the resistance is looks like, you show this is the resistance, it looks like that. So this is the V equals to I R and then last one, this is a very important for engineering that is the applications. This is a very important things that the applications. So how we can study any kinds of electronics thing, electronics component. It's not only for the resistance, any kinds of thing that things we can understand. Now go for the another example. This is the AOTDAP for another purpose. That is the capacitance. If I asking this question, why capacitor or capacitance is called like that capacitance, capacitor. Do you have any answer? Yes. If you have any answer, that is the capacity of store the charge. It's capacity to store the charge. That's why it is called the capacitance. You look there is several kinds of capacitance is there. Here, here, here. And but we don't have any idea why it is the analytical meaning. That's why it is called capacitance. It's the capacity of store the charge. That's why it is called the capacitance. Then the origin of the capacitance. It's a very important thing. The origin of the capacitance is coming from the charge storage, static charge concept. That's how the we can store the charge and by a by a concept of two plate, two plate concept and conductivity de, uh, decontactivity concept. From there the concept is coming, that is the origin of the capacitance. Next one, this is the theory. There is C equals to Q equals to C V. We know about that. That Q equals to C V. There is a, another that is the question Q equals to C V. Q equals to C V. That is that is that is another another that is q equals to cv. This q equals to cv is the capacitance equations. From there we can understand that is. But we are start from this q equals to cv. So this is the this is the this is the ori, this is the actual theory. After then the capacitance diagram we know that capacitance is representing like that way. We know that capacitance is also representing like that way is the same both the and also it's representing like this way so these are the diagram of the capacitance and their applications there is several numbers applications of the capacitance the uh, signal passing it's a uh, it's can capable to store the charge it's can passing the signals signals probability it's act as a reactance and all those things that are capacitance applications now you go for the next step that is the that is you show the inductance how the concept is coming if i am asking you this question the inductance why it is called inductance the inductance is called like that inductance because it is induction from induced concept it's coming from induced magnetic inductions from there the concept of inductions this inductor concept is coming 
so like that way this AOTDAP if I am applying this particular formula AOTDAP in here then we can understand this AOTD A for analytic fit, analytical meaning so we can get that inductance concept is coming from the induction concept magnetic induction concept it's generating of coil and like that way inductance concept is coming that is AOTDAP O for the origin you know that the origin is also is related with the inductance that is the origins is basically uh, how the concept is coming that is the magnetic solenoid concept from there the inductance inductance concept is coming and you know how it is looks like the diagram we have I have already draw this diagram in here the diagram is looks like that that is the diagram that is the diagram D for the diagram and applications is several purposes applications is there in filter generations or any kinds of several applications is there but the application in the last we have to know about all those things after then we can go for the applications next we go for another very important things you know do you know these particular things what it is it is the diode yes this is the pn junctions diode this is the pn junctions diode so why it is called diode because that uh, uh, that this particular analytical meaning why diode why diode di di means di means two di means two how the concept of two is coming in here diode it's called diode because of di electrode concept is there that's why it is called the diode and then the origin from where the concept is coming from where the concept of the diode is coming from the diode concept is coming from the diode valve concept it is a very important this pn junction is not the first time diode the diode concept that is the tf diode valve triad valve from there the concept of the diode is coming okay so this is the origin of the origin of the diode after then there is a t that is the theory theory is that there is several considerations of the theory that is the forward bias reverse bias and all those things in forward bias it can act if i am passing through the ac it can act as a rectifier there is some diode equations nonlinear equations etc etc several huge things are there but we are always considered concentrate like that way this very simple concept that is aot dap concept like that we can understand very specifically about the diode and last one there is the application as i say that a rectifier generations the unidirectional current flow and any kinds of uh, circuitry related to the diode that can be very much essential essential uh, representative requirement of the diode we can very easily change our ac signal to the dc signal through this diode configurations design of the diode so several activities are as as we at today's lecture is totally related with the how we can study the how we can study the electronics the another things i want to show that is the transistor it's a very important component in the basic electronics why it is called transistors what is the analytical meaning what is the origin where is the t where is the d where is the ap the a for analytical meaning it's a mean that the diode that uh, that the transistors is basically actually the transfer register concept the concept of the transistors is coming from the transfer registers after then this origin this origin is actually coming from the pn junctions diode after then this pnp transistor the concept of the pnp and npn concept is there p n p or n p n n p n concept is there so these are the these are the activity these are the formations is there in for the transistors concept there is three terminal common is interface and all those things all are part in the theory and after then this diagram if you can show that npn or pnp transistors how it is looks like that things is also i'm writing in here how it is looks like that transistors PNP and NPN transistors is looks like that and uh, like this so the transistors 
how it is representing the transistors that things is also there this is the diagram and last one there is a huge applications there is a huge applications in this in case of this transistors huge applications is there amplifier also uh, some other place in the electronic circuit main component of the ic the transistors is very very essential so uh, actually uh, uh, this today's this particular video is actually developed for the purpose of how we can study and to know about these particular things that is the aot dap for any kinds of thing any kinds of activity any kinds of electronics things electronics component electronics device you can use this particular aotd ap format and you can understand but you must go for like that way first a then o then t then d and then ap so i hope you enjoy it thank you very much hi dear electronics you are always used several kinds of electronics goods at present now you are watching me this video in this video by your mobile that is also electronics device or in your laptop that is also device electronics device or in your computer that is also electronics device now the things is that you are always crazy about this electronics and always waiting for some ecart website that when you get some offer in the Diwali or Durga Puja that how or Eid that uh, how you get some offer that uh, with a low cost you can get some electronics goods very easily. But do you have any idea that why electronics is called uh, how the terms electronics is coming? Actually this electronics term is coming from the electron. Now I am asking you same question that how the term electron and why it is called electron. Electron term is coming from where? Now for that reason this particular video. Go for that there is Mr. Electron is there. You show Mr. Electron is running. <laughs> so Mr. Electron is running in here and for that reason the current is flowing. If a electron is passing through that path that means a current is conducting a current path is developed is there you show the electron superman is there electron superman he is also he is also rotating he is also just move for that reason the current is passing so for the passing of the electron the current is passing now there is another very interesting term that uh, why how the how the electron term is coming actually the electron term is actually a greek word it is a Greek word. This electron term is actually a Greek word. This Greek word uh, from electron, this particular electron term is developed. And this particular electron is specifically uh, meaning that is the amber. Amber means as a small particles, the yellow spherical's yellow is at one particles. I don't know why it is called yellow is particular. I think that it looks like like that way he is showing uh, it's look uh, like yellow is for that reason it can say that electron ele amber that is yellow is or orange types things but it is a Greek word that is the electron these things is coming. Next you show that uh, do you know this is a scientist JJ uh, Joseph John. He was first invented, invented the concept that is the electron. Electron. In the year 1906, he get the Nobel Prize on the basis of his research. That is the electron. You show there is an atom in the upper side, these portions, and this is the electron's pictures which they found it. Can understand about the electron's pair, electron space, and in the 19 1906. He get the Nobel Prize on the purpose of this particular electron. This this concept is coming in the 2019 at present now 2020. This is the COVID year, and uh, uh, where at present now, if he was not invented this concept at present now or at that time, 
Mr. Joseph John, the Professor Joseph John at that time, then it cannot be possible to reach at present now. You cannot, it cannot be possible to watch me in your mobile, in your hand through a uh, very easiest way. So that is the actual things and we are salute to this man. Next one, you show there is a, a galaxy of the electronics device. You show there is several kinds of electronics devices are there. Camera, uh, there is a camera, there is a DVD, televisions, tab, mobile, camera also, also some here it is the fridge, washing machine and uh, several kinds of things are there in the in this particular this is the galaxy of the electronics items and you are using all these items uh, daily life now i am saying you the device yes uh, why i am not saying it's equipment but the things is that the same i think what is the versus the device versus equipment the things is that both are actually the same but in case of some measuring things we can use the concept we can use this particular term that is the equipment apart from that we can say it is the device but things is that we can say it is equipment also both are the same there is no any difference between the device and the equipment next uh, then uh, what is the component what is component what is component it is also a very important word so we have understand about that uh, device equipment there is no any specific device the device and equipment and next one now this is the component what is component now in case of this there is a component in case of this component specifically you show there is a galaxy of the component there is a galaxy all the galaxy of the components are there in here okay all are the galaxy and you show there is a uh, several kinds of things that is the capacitor that is the wire that is the register pcb there is uh, several activity transistors and also others activities are there others not activity actually other things are there they are they are the actually the component this is the inductors is also there and uh, several things are there they are the components they are the components actually the components are build and construct the device specifically that the components are build the device actually now you go for this particular slide that uh, you show there is some samsung mobile phone actually you show there is a samsung mobile phone it is a device yes inside of this there is several item you show these 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 several items are there and you show inside of this there is several items are there and all the items all the items are actually the component and by this component this particular mobile phone is generated that is a device specifically so component by using the electronics component a device is generated uh, that is actually the electronics device and this is the actual difference between the device and the component so thank you very much and thank you for watching hi dear our today's topic is uh, how reactants react as we know from the our previous video that aotd ap concept today we understand about the reactants and for that point of view it is very much necessary to know about that why it is called reactants how it is react how it can be reacting that things we have to represent so for that reasons this particular video is there so the reactants react with something is there any chemical reactions or any other kinds of react reactivity is there so reactance means uh, basically we know that uh, the capacitance and uh, inductance we can say these and these are the reactance we can say that these and these these are these are the reactance but the things is that as these and these are reactance why it is called 
why it is called the reactants I just go for one example through that we can understand try to understand why it is called reactants and through that there is some complete clear concept is coming from us uh, with us you show there is a capacitance you show there is a capacitance and in case of this capacitance I am giving you three signal this is the signal one this is the signal 2 and this is the signal 3 okay so this is signal 1 so this is signal 1 this is signal 2 and this is signal 3 okay and now I am asking you this question that uh, the probability of passing of this three signal which one is higher for this particular capacitance how it is related with the reactance I am coming for that First you say there is a capacitance and in case of this capacitance there is is there is a capacitance and in case of this capacitance I am introducing these three signal first one is this second one is this third one is this first second and third so first one is this second one is this and third one is this and probability of passing through this capacitance which signal is high my dear students and my dear that we have already know that that xc that xc equals to 1 by 2 pi f c xc equals to 1 by 2 pi f c we know about these things xc equals to 1 by 2 pi f c this is the reactance for the capacitance this is the reactance for the capacitance here this C is the capacitive value and F is the frequency of the signal which is passing through this capacitance so what I am representing again I am repeating this C is the capacitance and F is the frequency which is passing which frequency is passing through this which signals frequency which is passing through this capacitance okay it's a very easy you just understand these things now you say there is a three signal one is this another is one is this one is this two is this three is this so for this particular three signals the passing capability of this particular capacitance through this capacitance which one is higher I think you can try to understand at present now you are storming your brain think about that that what is the answer actually what is the answer you are think about these things I can understand yes now I'm coming to this point you go through with this particular if term if is the frequency and try to find out the frequency of this signal this signal and this signal signal number one signal number two and signal number three for this particular three signals you show the frequency is higher in this particular case much compared to this this frequency is much more lower and here the frequency is zero okay so if the f is high so if i'm considering this particular equations is like that that xc equals to one by one by two pi f f is the frequency of the signal which is passing through the particular capacitance so if is f is become high if f is become high then xc is become low xc is become low i think you can got this point if f become high then xc become low if i increase the f then xc automatically decreases yes very nice that means that means in case of this particular three signal as there is f equals to zero as there is no frequency in the case of this particular signal as it is the dc signal there is some sort of f and there is the f is maximum so the probability of passing this particular signal is much more higher because f is very high at that time xc is low 
and moderate passing capability of this because here the f is less than this so for that reasons that reasons the frequency of passing through this particular xc xc is low for from that so another very interesting conclusion is that here if the f in case of dc that f the frequency is equals to zero in case of dc the frequency f equals to zero if in case of this dc frequency f equals to zero then what happened what happened if the f equals to zero if i put the value that is equals to zero so i am just representing it's like that way this xc is become like a like infinite if f is zero it's become infinite so xc become infinite that means xc become open circuited concept xc is representing the open circuited concept so for that point of view we can say that this particular signal is not possible to pass this particular capacitance that's why dc is not passing it is the dc signal you show so dc is not capable to passing through the capacit through this capacitance so that's why we can say we can conclude this particular video like that way that that uh, that capacitors is a gas capacitors is actually the ac passer ac passer and dc blocker capacitor is a ac passer and the dc blocker specifically now the things is that capacitor is a ac passer and dc blocker these things we can understand in here the things is the same the it is the vice versa in case of inductance everything are vice versa because at that time the xl equals to 2 pi fl so from this particular video we can understand the capacitor is a ac passer and dc blocker and from that point of view you show this particular capacitance is say the reactance why because it is react with the f value it's react with this particular f value if the f is change automatically the xc is change so xc is the capacitance is react on the purpose of this f so for that point of view we can say that it is it is the reactance capacitance is a reactance and also we can say the inductance is also a reactance i hope you can understand and enjoy this particular video thank you very much for watching hi dear pn junction we all know about this thing some sort of who are connected with the electronics stream or any other stream also but uh, there is some controversy and uh, controversy what kinds of controversy that things is representing in this particular topic that uh, pn junction is a diode is a diode pn junctions diode if i am considering that the analytical meaning of the diode diode this particular term is coming from dielectrode diode and for that reasons for two electrode dielectrode diode concept is coming but in case of pn junctions is there any dielectrode so come to this particular side there is no any electrode in this diode you show there is a diode you show there is a diode but uh, in that case in this particular diode there is in this particular diode there is no electrode you show there is a anode we are representing there is a cathode we are representing but there is no any electrode but it is called diode why why 
so uh, for that point of view you show that this is actually the diode that uh, that uh, there is a negative there is a positive this is a voltage signal high voltage signal and it's current to go through here there is a negative and there is a positive this is the anode and this is the cathode this is the anode and this is the cathode actually and you show these are the actually the previous case of the diode diode, diode pictures and uh, here you show that uh, in case of this particular diode you you can understand that uh, the electricity is passing through here Elect electricity is passing through his here actually the electron is passing through here and it's inside of this the electron flow from this plate to this plate and it's creating uh, and it, it is it is looks it is actually the representing the diode so in that case if I am increasing this current and then automatically a electron charge is flowing through this path a and it is called the diode and these are the diode we have already set. Now next you show there is two electrode and for that reasons we have say that it is the diode as it is the cathode and it is the anode that is why this is the cathode and this is the anode that is why we can say it is the diode. So, suppose we want to show one very important things that uh, uh, suppose what happened electron is passing through this particular cathode and the anode is accepting this electron anode is accepting this electron and what happened when the electron is passing from this particular uh, cathode from, from this particular cathode and when anode is electron accepting suppose i am considering that 10 numbers of electron accepting by the electron in a particular time second and in a here uh, suppose suppose 15 number of electron is 15 numbers of electron is come here for per second then what happened in his this case what happened a excess numbers of electron is present this particular portions and which is create a space charge of the electron which is create a space charge of the electron in here and this this is actually called the electron space charge and electronically how we can remove this particular charge so for that reasons we are introduce another electrode in here we are introducing another electrode is in here and this is positively charged this is positively charged and as for this positively charged this positively charged and this side is a positive charge and this side is a charge is much more higher the efficiency of the charge is higher on this side like that way we can design then what happened the electrons excess electron and uh, the the energy the voltage in this positions and this positions is very high comparatively this and this this particular voltage is much more lower then what happened it is swept away from this side to this side a vector is creating a vector is creating for that reasons the electricity passing through this particular place and you show there is one electrode there is another electrode and uh, there is another electrode now at present now this electrode is 3 and for that reasons this is called the triode this is called the triode triode not at present now it is not the diode i want to explain that uh, you know about this diode every day in your home you are watch at present now the scenario is changed but uh, every day in your home you are showing this particular diode this particular diode and it is actually nothing this is when i am changing the shape you can understand what it is i am just changing the shape of it then you can understand what it is you show 
you are showing from this side your eyes is from this side this side it is actually a picture tube it is actually a picture tube you show sure? there is there is a cathode and there is anode it is actually a picture tube picture tube concept and here it is the different so we are showing from this side this side so this is actually the triad concept the triad concept is representing in here okay so what i am showing that di electrode that's why it is called diode after then to remove the space charge the triad concept is coming the triad concept is coming and the applications of the triad that is the television's picture tube you show this is the side view of the picture tube or side view of the cro tube cathode ray tube crt cathode ray tube crt okay so this is the configurations of the crt cathode ray tube now actually what from where we are said we are started that we say that the pn junction is a diode from there we just come to the this particular portion that is the triode concept but the things is that in case of pn junction as it is the diode how it can be possible so for that reasons we can go for here one graphical representations so if i'm considering this side is the voltage this side is the current then if i'm increase the current in here if i'm increase the voltage in this in this particular portions if i increase the voltage in this particular portions then what happened the current and for the current and voltage it start to start and then after that it is just saturated uh, why saturated because of there is some space charge is occurred in this in this particular space in this particular place the space charge is occurred so for that reasons the as there is a space charge is occurred so for that reasons the it is looks like that so uh, when again when the space charge is occurred then the electron is also repel in this particular position so for that reasons the more space charge is occurred so you show it is looks like that it is looks like that okay so graph is looks like that and uh, for that point of view that point of view we can say that there is one of the graph which is a linear types of things this particular portions now you go for the next so this is the graph which is for this particular case one this is the c1 this is the case one case and if you go for the forward bias characteristics of any kinds of diode it is also the diode characteristic also is looks like that okay so if i am considering the forward bias characteristics so if the forward bias characteristics of the diode is looks like that so here it is the voltage here it is the current here it is the current then then if the forward bias characters you show that this is the this is for the diode valve and this is for the pn junctions this is for the pn junctions so as this is for the diode valve and this is for the pn junction so we can say we can say the characteristic of the pn junctions is also is equivalent to this particular diode valve this particular diode valve so for that point of view for that reasons we can say we can conclude that that pn junctions is also a diode so that's all for this particular video thank you very much